guys, welcome to Angel Whispers, Vanessa here speaking and today we have another reading and this is the actions taken by those who killed Sushant after the crime scene. Now this is requested to me by Sushant's soul. He visited me while I was taking my dinner and as long as I finish my dinner, I am here, <laughs> okay? I am doing this reading and it is for him to have some justice with regards to his death and of course we need to be aware about the actions that these you know um killers um do after the crime scene we need to be aware and their hidden motives about each and every actions that they took okay so anyway let's begin all right so let's begin first with that outsider so we'll see what does this outsider did after the crime so we'll check take note that these are actions already taken okay and also we're gonna tackle on about you know what's behind um the action that they took what are the hidden motives with it so we'll check angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what actions does the outsider who killed Sushant took after the crime? Please show to us the overall theme, thank you. And please show to us the hidden motives behind it too. And my head hurts a lot. So I feel like the outsider really took the money and went away. That's what I'm sensing here. But I feel like this outsider, after getting the money, I feel like this person loses sleep because this person has been very deceitful. So the person in question, to be honest with you, has negative emotions because suddenly my left hand hurts. So whenever my left hand hurts while I shuffle, it means that on the end, of this person in question have that you know negative emotions i feel like this person wanna speak the truth but afraid to speak up that's what i'm sensing and i feel like this person is losing hope that there will be justice for sushant because no one is really speaking up the truth i feel like i feel like there are threats to be honest, so we'll see with the Dixit cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what does the outsider did after the crime and what are the hidden motives behind it. So I feel like this outsider, nobody really knows this person, no one at all. And even the crime scene, I feel like the crime scenes show it, okay, that this person was there, but then nobody knows, okay, this person, because this person is not even a celebrity, and Sushan don't even know this person, but I feel like, you know, whomever this is, who is the outsider that involves with the killing, knows that they are, you know, killers, and... They just want money, that's why they got included in. But unfortunately, I feel like karma will strike them. And I feel like the police will, you know, match the records and it will point out to them. And I feel like this outsider will soon realize that, you know, this, that they need to speak up. Because I feel like this outsider um, has heavy dreams, nightmares. I feel so one more so I feel like this outsider receive a lot of karma after you know killing Sushant actually a lot of them received the karma right away after killing this person and the angels wants to give all the Dixit cards. I wonder why. Actually, could be they want to say 
the whole story with regards to this outsider what did they do so one more they say so oh dear they are non-stop they just keep on giving and giving me cards they want to share stories okay i just let the angels be since they are my guides i respect them now anyway let's see with the tarot what it has to say angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what options that does the outsider take after killing Sashant? Please show as well the hidden motives behind the action. Thank you. One more shuffle, they say. So, we'll see. Behind the crime scenes, there's a lot of luck. I feel like the police wasn't able to gather much information because, to be honest with you, I feel like um, some someone tries to, you know, um, steal something from the crime scene. I feel like the police really is upset about, you know, the disturbance that happened in the crime scene. Like someone is really cleaning up the mess there. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading and this is the outcome so i have a feeling here that this person thought that he will run away from the crime scene like he will run away from the truth from the world so we will clarify angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we may be able to understand i feel like it's really a plotted murder well planned murder to be honest but it doesn't look like a suicide because you know they failed to really kill sushant on the scene because there is you know videos that that you know includes that Sushan still moving that he should have survived but unfortunately you know Sushant is not taking good care of because he is with his killers sadly So, I feel like this person feel guilty, having sleepless nights, anxiety, worry, if the police will get him, if they will discover that, you know, he's the one who's included there. And I feel like this, this person tries to run away, okay? Away from the police, away from investigations, and so forth, yeah. This is the overall energy. So, obviously, this person tries to run away, okay? That's what you can see after the crime scene. So, with the Knight of Cups being in reverse, so, of course, this person makes sure that, you know, his tracks won't be there. So, I feel like this is a very careful person that they included in the crime scene. So, with the light of the world, I feel like really nobody knows them. Okay, and with the strength, I have a feeling here that they are being, you know, um, controlled by, by God. I feel like they have nightmares when they sleep. So it is, you know, it is their karma for killing somebody. And I feel like um, the heaven is mad at them for doing this to Sushant. And with the temperance being here, so I have a feeling that there's divine intervention that has been happening in this person's life. Because this person didn't approach the police, didn't tell what really happened in the crime scene. And this person has been crying, feeling guilty, and the money that he took away really doesn't help at all like he discovered that money can't really buy happiness and joy and now what happened to him okay of course you know if you 
earn money by doing nasty things, it will not really bring you peace at all. So I feel like this person just finished that task and moved away. That's what happened here. So with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, I feel like karma will really strike this person like bad karma will happen to this one. Okay, so this person took the money. Okay, and I feel like this person doesn't work anymore. Because I feel like after that happened, I feel like this person doesn't really work because he has a lot of money. Okay, that's what I'm sensing here given by this girl okay who plotted the murder but he feel very guilty of following this girl because until now he remembers how he killed somebody that's innocent i feel like his heart is bugging him his conscience okay and i feel like with this archangel michael you know upon holding this set of cards my left hand hurts so let's see why so i feel like this person you know is somebody is really greedy with money okay and i feel like with the two of swords here and with the nine of wands i have a feeling here that this person realized now how foolish she has been to fall into the trap of being greedy okay because before this person is undecisive okay whether he will took the job of killing Sushant or not. Okay, that's what happened here. And I feel like with Archangel Michael in reverse, I have a feeling here that the divine is not with them anymore. Like, unfortunately for this guy, he will continue on be bugged by heaven because he's hiding the truth of the matter here. That's why he feels very guilty after killing Sushant. And with the architect being here, I have a feeling here that this outsider, okay, um, really, you know, is behind the killing of Sushant just because, you know, this sister really don't want Sushant to get married. That's what I'm sensing here. And I feel like this guy lose passion in life. That's what I'm sensing here. And with the Ace of Cups, I feel like this guy tries to be happy. Um, because of the money but then I feel like deep within whatever this guy is passionate about is not pushing forward because he will always remember how he was included in the crime so the next is the spring so what we have here is that you know this person really thought that the offer is good but then the offer is really making him feel stressed. That's what I'm sensing. Yes, he has a lot of money after doing something nasty. But unfortunately for this guy, I feel like this guy will have a lot of dreams about Sushant, to be honest with you. Okay? And I feel like this outsider is just on the background picture. Nobody knows this person. Okay? And... With the page of ones being in reverse here, I feel like the action that this person took is that this person will never make a move at all. No move. Just there alone and on the background, but will not go towards the police. So we'll see about the outcome. So with the King of Scrolls, I have a feeling here that this person will plan on where to spend the money. But wherever he plan on wasting it will end up, you know, in a deceit. Okay, somebody will just, you know, trick him and take his money. Okay, and the next is the lightning bolt. So I feel like this person, of course, will always get strike with a dream of being what they call this accepting you know the task to kill sushant that's what i'm gonna say and then the next is the willow in reverse so of course you know this person will have again sleepless nights and i feel like he will lose money because look at this somebody will trick him okay and i feel like he will not see it coming and i also feel here that with the willow and hierophant in reverse i have a sense here that he will be like who does the angels say who might okay okay there's a lot of outcomes here so this person has a tendency to commit suicide due to guilt 
because he haven't moved on from what he did okay i feel like he really has sleepless nights poor guy but he did really something nasty so i just hope that instead of killing himself just pull, um report to the police okay rather than you know hide something forever okay so anyway let's see so one more so anyway here are the charms so i have a feeling here that this person is really greedy with money like in love with money it also got this so this is a symbolism of an empress or someone who's in a high position so i feel like this person just follow orders okay and i feel like i really sense that this person might commit suicide to be honest with you due to sleepless nights so this person just follow you know whatever the plan is that this girl instructed and i feel like with the justice in reverse i feel like this you know person or with this in reverse i feel like he don't really want to speak up the truth okay i feel like you know this person will try to hide secrets that's what i'm sensing and i feel like this person will always remember what he did you know during the night i don't know if it's night when sushant died i don't really know the news to be honest with you okay i'm just here to follow whatever you know the soul asked me to do so anyway i feel like this person has sleepless nights every night he was crying he can't sleep he has nightmares and i feel like with this message i love you i feel like you know this person is aware that they will disrupt sushant from getting married i feel like he knows about it and with the star being here i'm sensing that you know he will always be reminded of sushant that's what i'm sensing and i feel like he wants to try to make himself happy but it will not work out because he will always remember you know what he did so anyway let's see with the dixit cards so you got this one so what i'm seeing here is that you know this person what action does this person take is that he is planning to leave the area where he was away from the police away from the public eye because this person really wants to do something with the money and for doing that he must escape first of where he is so that the police will not get him that is his action that he took because he's really afraid of getting caught because he really wants to enjoy the money that he got from killing sushant okay so he ran away the action that he took and unfortunately i feel like uh, this is the karma okay upon him leaving trying a venture i feel like it will not lead him to success because i have a feeling here okay this has a connection with this one that he will be tricked right so we'll check so i feel like he will always remember to be honest with you what he really did to sushant that's what i'm sensing here and to be honest you know you see these passion cards like whatever is passionate about will not work out or he will lose his ability to use his skill or talent that's his karma and i feel like he will try to mask that he is unhappy okay he will try to pretend that he's happy so that is his action so i feel like he will be left in the cold that's what i'm sensing here trying to you know make his talent work and so forth but i feel like he is kind of have the money right but then the divine will put him into a maze that's what's gonna happen and i feel like he will thought you know he will go after you know a good opportunity 
but then i feel like he's just gonna waste time because whatever he manifests will not work because somebody will spy on him and take his money i feel like it will be like um a spy i feel somebody will you know took his money and somebody will you know i feel like the police will caught him because you have this jail so i fortunately for this guy he will ended up in jail and he will always remember what he did okay what he did to sushant and i feel like with this one i have a feeling that he will get included in fights inside the jail and i feel like with this wisdom i feel like he learned the lessons the hard way that's what i'm sensing um, because I feel here that he will be left in the cold by even his, you know, um, people that knows him. That's what I'm sensing. He have to leave because he's really afraid of the police. I feel like he will get caught because we see that there's jail there. So, um, this action that he took is to, you know, focus on work and focus on running away to be honest just to try to be at peace but then unfortunately i feel like this person is hiding the fact that you know they are really evil they play pretend to be somebody that's kind and of course he will protect his you know abundance because it he has money and of course people will fight for his money because somebody wants to take the money okay and i feel like this guy will lose the money that's what i'm sensing somebody will take the money and i feel like there's also news that this person was also included in the killing so after just having the money you know somebody will really shatter this person's dreams that's what i'm sensing here so what i sense here is that you know this person thought that there will be a lot of opportunity he planned to study he plans to have a luxurious life but then i feel like this person discovered that he can do his talent anymore okay and i feel like the police is always you know around this person because i feel like he will get caught i feel like the fox here is the police okay the police will get this person because look at this and there's also a fox here so the fox will watch over this outsider okay and the outsider thought that he will be able to escape but then the universe is not on this person's side because the police has clues about him okay and no matter how many times this person lured the police or whomever a part of the killer will or the police they will find themselves to the treasure okay of whom really is the killer so that's why this person will end up in jail okay so what i'm sensing here is that this person will always remember you know that sushant has a lover and sushant really wants to marry this girl but because of what he did okay sushant turned into you know a ghost I feel like he will always remember this, okay, what he destroyed. That's what I'm sensing and he's always afraid of the police. So he's hiding from the police. That's the action that he took and he created a generational curse wherein his relatives will encounter difficult obstacles in their life. So this person will try to run away obviously from the police. Again, it repeats. And that's why he's abandoned he don't have friends he's in the unknown place okay and holding the big you know money of abundance of what he took for following the orders of this you know of this girl that's what i'm sensing so i feel like this person will encounter you know difficult situations I feel like he will never run away from the law. That's what I'm sensing. Like the law is always following him. And I have a feeling here that the girl, I feel like there's again the girl here. The girl, okay, he will always remember that he was used by this girl to kill somebody. That's what I'm sensing here. And I feel like he has a lot of missed opportunities. He wants to escape 
whatever he did, but he ended up crying. Not, I feel like he will end up losing his money. That's what I'm sensing. And of course, the police has eyes on him. And I feel like he's planning always to escape. That's what I'm sensing. But no matter how many times he tries to escape, he will never escape. He will keep on running and running. And this person is cautious because he don't know which, which can be trusted. Because I feel like he's afraid that there could be a police around him. Okay, and I feel like he will always remember how he became a puppet for this girl whom, you know, whom he followed. So, I feel like the friends of this person will suspect why is it this person is alone or people in the police will discover him. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like with this one, I feel like if ever this person will not get caught, I feel like this person will grow old alone, single for the rest of his life. And I feel like this person will learn it the hard way that, you know, you have to follow the rules or you, money is not greater than your dignity. That's what um this person realized. Okay, I know that it's, you know, <laughs> it's a lot of story there with the Dixit cards, but, you know, there's a lot of possible outcomes. Either this person will get ended up in jail or ended up, you know, being alone forever. Alright, so anyway, this is your overall theme. So you got the treasure, so you got a lot of money, but sadly for this guy, after the crime scene, he has sleepless nights, he wasn't able to mend. And I feel like he has to detach from his friends as what actions that he took. Okay, so with the fates and truth be told, I feel like he is a liar. Okay, he, he will not tell the truth that is included, of course, in the killing of the star. A change in the wind. So, of course, from, you know, poor to riches, that's what happened to him. But I feel like this person has sleepless nights that ever since he was included in the killing of Sushant, he can't be able to sleep well. Like, um, I feel like he's not at peace at all. So I feel like this person, what action this person took is he tried to run away from, you know, the crime scene where he is, the place, and, you know, try to make himself happy with the money that he got so that's what he did so anyway that's what happened to the outsider so is there anything else so the outsider also um wants to say something to the police but then it's very you know um i feel like he can't even speak i feel like this person of course if he will speak up, he will end up in jail, but unfortunately for this person, um, he might commit suicide if ever he is, he can't, you know, control his emotions, okay? So, is there anything else? They said that's it, so let's proceed on with the next question or next person. Alright, so let's proceed on with the maid, okay? So anyway, let's see what does this maid do after, you know, the crime scene took place. So let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what does the maid that is part of the crime scene did. After killing Sushant, and what is the hidden motives behind it, and show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. So the angel said to me that this person is kind of upset of including him in the crime that he didn't do. Okay, I feel like even though in our first reading, okay, it's a yes, right? But to be honest with you, he's not really apart or he don't really agree to be on that plan he don't know the plan that there was a plan of killing sushant he's an innocent person and i feel like this person wants to retreat because i feel like this guy really has you know um some issues with the family like 
he really does the punches that these people that Sushant has a family is not really trustworthy like um I feel like they are very toxic to the point that he don't want to work with them to be honest with you I feel like he only have you know the hearts for Sushant but not for the family and they really does have nasty behavior so I feel like this guy really needs to open up to the police that you know these people around him are very nasty that's what I'm s sensing that he should be doing but I feel like he wasn't able to do that but you can see the frustration in his face that you know he really wants to escape he really wants to you know be free because he, he don't really wants to kill Sushant that's what I'm sensing with this energy. So we'll see with the Dixit cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know. What does the actions that the maid has done after the crime scene? One more shuffle, they say. So we'll check. So I feel like this person really is regretful of being included in that kind of scene. I feel like he wants to apologize to Sushant for killing or being included there in the crime scene. Because to be honest, I feel like this person is scared. Like he was shaking. Like he don't want to harm, harm Sushant. Okay? That's what I'm sensing. I feel like this person needs to open up to the police how evil the sister or the family of Sushant was. Okay, a very controlling, manipulative. No wonder why Sushant don't want to live with them. So we'll see with your tarot. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what does the maid did after killing or the crime scene we we'll, we can't say killing because this may don't really want to kill sushant okay to, i really felt bad for this person i feel like this person received hunches from the divine that you know this family is really not good because i really feel like whomever the maid is has a good heart okay i can sense that even from the previous readings that I made about this maid, this maid is really good. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what is the outcome? So we will clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. One more shuffle, they say. So I feel like, you know, um, this person is pointed out as somebody who give this, give Sushan to the drink. That's what I'm sensing here. And I feel like he do want to apologize to Sushan's soul for, you know, giving him that drink and... I feel like he really wants to speak up the truth to the police. But unfortunately, I feel like he's being threatened by the sister of Sushant. The one with short hair. The angels say. So, to be honest with you all, I know that you're confused who is the sister, but I feel like there's two sisters at least that's not really good or nasty sisters. That Sushant has. So anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So I feel like this person always, you know, remember how foolish she have been to always being somebody that follows everyone around. I feel like he thinks that he should have changed his job rather than be stuck here, okay, and be 
be blamed on the killing of Sushant. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like he has been praying. He has been asking God for some help. Because I feel like he really wants to make peace and harmony to the divine. I feel like he is also a holy person. That's why, you know, whenever I encounter the reading of this one, I really feel calm to this person, to be honest. I know that you're confused with the genders, guys. I'm really sorry for the last reading, okay? I thought that it was a girl, okay? Because really, the energy is calm. I, I can sense energies, but I can't sense genders, to be honest with you. So, I have some flaws as a tarot reader. Please forgive me. So, Anyway, with this guy, I feel like he does want to apologize to the divine because, you know, he knows that he he knows the true colors of Sushant and I feel like he's really guilty of doing, you know, hurting this person. But unfortunately, I feel like he has to lie because he's very afraid that he might be next, okay? I feel like he's afraid that someone might kill him if ever he will speak the truth. That's what I'm sensing. So I feel like the action that this person take is does he will not say the truth. I feel because he's afraid that he will end up being killed like Sushant. That's why the vision fulfilled is in reverse. So anyway, this is the next card. You got the Ark of the Covenant. And that's why he is upset because, you know, he is not really, you know, a part or a team of that plotted murder case. Okay, he didn't agree on it. He just fell for it. Okay, with the commandment, I see, because he really has good feelings here. Okay, what I mean is that his heart is really open than the logic side. That's why... Probably in the last reading, I sense his feminine side because to be honest with you, with this guy, um, the heart is, you know, in, on the sleeves is what I'm sensing here. So this is the person that took an action that really, you know, um, makes Sushant and feel, feel unwell. That's what I'm sensing here. So yeah, that causes really. But they call this uneasiness for Sushant. And I feel like the action that this person take is that he really want to run away. I feel as well that he wants to go to spirituality and he wants to heal. Because I feel like he feel very guilty within. And he really wants to get away from the world. Try to get away from being questioned by the police. Because I feel like this guy has a humble heart. Has a good heart. He's just doing his job as a maid. Okay. So I feel like with the two of swords here. I feel like yeah. He's just give this to Sushant. And sadly Sushant fell for it. Because of course Sushant trusts him. And he never thought that he will die. And I feel like. Look at that. He feel very guilty. And he's waiting um to escape this okay i feel like he's being questioned that's what happened to him he's in jail and i feel like with this one with the four of cups i feel like he always remember what he did i feel like he don't want to work anymore because he knows that by his work he killed somebody see he really has a loving heart i i want to cry um i know that a lot of people are angry with the maid but i feel here that his life is really threatened. That's what I'm sensing. That's why he lied. I just hope that this guy will speak up. If ever this guy will speak up for sure, you know, the sisters will end up in jail. All he will need to speak up is the truth that the sisters are really nasty or evil. Okay? So, I feel like with this community... Yeah, the, look at that. The sister really did something nasty. And again, whenever I see this community card, whenever I look at here, it reminds me of Sushant, to be honest with you. So what I'm sensing here is that, oh dear, it's really the sister that did this. I feel. So I have a sense of feeling here that it was the sister where the you know the drink came from and then 
she asked somebody to bring it to Sushant. That's what I'm sensing. So anyway, let's see. With the charms, what it wants to say to us. So we'll see. I don't know why. Again, I look at these cards and I see something nasty here. Look at the face of the girl. Oh dear. I think that one of the sisters look like that. Kinda nasty, right? How evil the face was. It's my first time to see that. To be honest. So one more. Please forgive me about the genders, guys, okay? Um so that's why if you do if I do tar readings, please include the gender, okay? So anyway, here is the charms that we have here. So I feel like this person always adores Sushant, okay? And I feel like this person really have a loving heart. With this one, he is a nurturer. But unfortunately, you know, this person is trapped from speaking the truth. Because I feel like this person has a lot of things to say to the police. But he's put to rest, okay, as you can see, by somebody that is trying to manipulate him. Okay, somebody whom is, I feel like it's a girl. I feel like it could be this one, okay. I feel like he has some meeting actually with this person not to speak up the truth or else you know something nasty will happen to you and so forth. So that's why this person can speak up and with the moon we know that it's about secrecy, lies, deception even. So I feel like this person action is that he wants to break free from this questioning because I feel like this person with this Larimar I really feel like he is a good soul and he wants everything to be over. Like he wants to start fresh beginning again and this time around he will be smart. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like somebody spying on him. Somebody is making sure that he will not say something to the police about them. So I feel like it's the girl whom is kind of controlling. Look at the face of that evil girl. Oh dear. One of the sisters. So anyway, this is the Dixit card so you got here. So I feel like what happened here is that he is just instructed, look at this, okay? He's just being ordered to give this ring to Sushant and then he's able to give it and that's the reason why Sushant has this downfall okay and he's being controlled over by this person to be honest with you and this action that he wants to take is that he really wants to escape i feel like the police got this person to be honest and he has been crying because he knows to himself that he didn't do it on purpose like he's just doing his job as a maid okay and he wants to be at peace okay and i feel like with this one i feel that he's being watched over and what he wants to do is that to hide himself from this person okay whom is this nasty i feel like this is you know this girl okay somebody really threatened this person's life from speaking up to be honest with you person's action is that he just want to leave he just want to break free from this you know um kind of nightmare that he has been through that's what i'm sensing because he has um dreams and also he's just doing his job but he's never a part um of that evil plan he don't want to be a part of it and he has been sad he don't want to do his skill or do again that work i feel like what he planned to do or action that he will take is that he will try something else that's what i'm sensing here but then sadly for this one i have a feeling that he i see the chains i feel like he will end up in jail no matter how many times that he wants to hide i feel like you know the police get a hold of him of course because he is a part of the crime so anyway here is the theme 
So you got regeneration. So I feel here that he is the one who really gave that drink to that person. And with the regeneration here, I feel like he don't want to work anymore with the same job. That's what he wants. And I feel like he's being questioned by the police and he really wants to escape, to be honest this kind of questioning vibe so i feel like he's being controlled by somebody okay that's putting a facade out there he, she's wearing mask as you can see and i feel like with this loyal heart i feel like he's loyal to sushant but not with you know this nasty girl okay he's willing to be loyal to sushant and sushant's girlfriend but not with this girl that is his sister that really bring him to this kind of situation and i feel like he's really hateful with that girl because his life was threatened and his and this person is always eyeing okay those she threatens okay so that's what's going on so i really feel very sad for this maid because he really does have a good heart and to be honest with you though he's a male Okay, I really see here that he's kind of have a um, very dominant female vibe. <laughs> That's why I accidentally, um, what they call this, say that this is a girl before. But to be honest, now that I know the truth, this is a male. I'm really sorry about it, guys, for the misinformation. So is there anything else? So to make it short, after the crime scene, of course, this guy went to question went to jail and all he wanted was to be free and i feel like he has been praying to god to the divine and asking sushan for forgiveness okay so is there anything else they said that's it so let's proceed on with the next all right so let's begin with the next one so this is about the friend so anyway let's see what actions does this person did after the crime scene so let's see angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what does this one friend of sushant who got included in this crime did after he killed sushant Please show to us the hidden motives behind the actions and the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. One more, they say. So, we'll check. I feel like this person can't get out of the jail right now. Like this person thought that, you know, he will get out of it, but unfortunately, he can't. I feel like he has the money that he got already, but unfortunately, he can't use that obviously because he is in jail. In jail, so we'll check with these Dixit cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. So we may know what actions does this friend of Sushant did after he killed his friend, okay? After the crime scene that he committed. One more, they say. So this person is hiding the facts. But I feel like the police is getting that this person is lying because of the actions that he's taking. Like he's very suspicious. He can't lie at all. I feel like he's really bad at lying. And I feel like the police arrested him and, you know, always blame someone else. I feel like this person blamed the girlfriend of, you know, Sushant, but I feel like, you know, it doesn't work with the police. I feel like the police kind of aware, actually, that this person is lying. 
because I feel like this, of course, the police studied psychology and they will learn or I feel like they will know based on actions if ever you're guilty or not. So even if you're somebody who says something to the police, they will know exactly if you're lying or not, even though they're psychic or not. Okay, so we'll check with your tarot's angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what actions does the friend of Sushant take after being involved in the crime of killing his own friend so i feel like this person feels very shocked that he was arrested and he proclaimed that he was a friend of Sushant and he will never harm his friend that's also what I get so I feel like this person tells a lot of lies and I feel like he is kind of pointing out always to the girlfriend of Sushant and I feel like he's he's in tears I feel or having anxiety not knowing what to do because I feel like the police is you know, seeing him or seeing his true colors as a friend that cannot be trusted or I feel like the police is really observing him so closely. They are aware that this person is lying. So anyway, this is the overall energy. So this is the outcome. One more, they say. So, let's see. I'm gonna clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. This help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. One more shuffle, they say. So, we'll see. The angels say, we will get justice soon because this guy obviously is shaking. And I feel like the police really see that this person is kind of, I feel like, jerkish vibe. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that means, but kind of deceptive kind of vibe thing that you can trust this person i feel like the police can if ever they can sense they know that this person is nasty has a nasty vibe on him that you know that you can trust this guy that's what i'm sensing whatever he's saying i feel like the police didn't you know didn't even believe because i feel like he keeps on like saying the same thing over and over again like a tape recorder but then with the queen of swords being in reverse here i feel like you know the police will continue on to question him no matter how many times he say the same thing that's what i'm sensing here like the police will never stop questioning him okay because i feel like this person of course hiding the plan okay the plan of the plot killing sushant and i feel like this person has sleepless nights i feel like this person is also afraid of losing money greedy individual indeed okay so with the loving elementals being in reverse here i feel like this person also remembers um how he treated um what they call this he treated the sisters and so forth but i feel like he's sad that you know he betrayed his friend that's what i'm sensing here just to follow these two sisters to be honest with you i really sense that you know there there's at least two or three sisters of the that's very nasty so i feel here that is a part of the plan but then since i feel like he thought that he ran away from it okay from the meeting or from the killing of sushant because there's there's a coffin there he ran away and then um he got caught with a justice here because he's part of you know the crime scene so with the birth i feel like you know with the two of cups and birth so what the actions that this person did is that 
he is closer to the person that who really that really did this nasty thing to Sushant. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like the police is suspecting this person and also, you know, the other one who commanded it or the other sister. I feel like there's um at least that one sister who's included in the crime here. Okay, not because the other one is abroad, he's, she's not doing anything. I feel like she's the planner, to be honest. So with the Queen of Scrolls being in reverse here, so I feel like he is kind of refusing to speak up about the sisters. That's what I'm sensing here. He's kind of fighting back. He's kind of a liar because this is in reverse. He's lying to the police and the police never stop watching over him okay and then saying the same thing that it's the girlfriend of Sushant that did it wrong so that's the action that he took and with the high priestess being in reverse so I feel like the police is being guided by the divine that whatever this person is saying is not true okay the police thinks that this guy really choked Sushant okay kills Sushant and He's following orders from somebody. Okay, that's why the police keeps on questioning him because the police don't believe this nasty joke that people are pointing to. And I noticed that, to be honest with you all, that almost a lot of people are questioning the girlfriend of Sushant. Well, I don't really see that in my reading, to be honest with you all. Okay, um... Basically, when I ask about the celebrity, it's, you know, the another celebrity who has a crush on the girlfriend of Sushant is the one who did the black magic. But I never see that, you know, someone whom is included was his, you know, girlfriend. I never see that, to be honest with you. So, the next is this Akashic Library. So, I feel like he's thinking of going back to work. And I feel like he's very sad in jail. That's what I'm sensing. Daydreaming of having the work, pursuing his dreams, not being in jail, not fighting this police. Like he's daydreaming. That's what he's doing. Okay. And I feel like with a fool and with a heart here, I feel like somehow he... Kind of remembers sometimes Sushant. And what he remembers about Sushant is, you know, how good this person is on how he reaches his goals and his dreams and he has been there. Okay? And I really feel like he's trying to block his heart. I really sense that this guy is kind of cold and nasty behavior. So this is the outcome. Not even sympathetic, to be honest with you. So, this is the plan or the action that he took is that um, I feel like he's, the police knows the true colors of this person and no way that he'll be able to escape the police. That's what I'm sensing with diversity reverse. So, body believes in him. Okay, so he will not start a new beginning outside. So, I feel like he thought that, you know, killing Sushant will bring him victory. But sadly, you know, he's stuck inside the jail that's what happened to him so what action did he took well sadly for this guy is in the jail so we'll check with being questioned by the police they say so anyway we'll see about the charms So, I have a feeling here that this person is also the one whom did the nasty work, to be honest. One more. Did the nasty work. Because I see this together. Okay? Because I've seen here, this is together. I feel like this person tries to, you know, control Sushant's phone to reach for the girlfriend of Sushant, okay, so that she, 
I'm sorry, he can point out to the girlfriend of Sushant that, you know, Sushant is contacting the girl um, before he died. I feel like, you know, this guy is the one who did something nasty to the phone of Sushant, okay, before he passed away. So, it proves here in the charms. And unfortunately, this guy got caught, okay, got caught in, you know, doing something nasty to Sushant. So, of course, justice came. But he's always, you know, um, what do you call this? Saying something about a girlfriend of Sushant did this and that because he's the one who did this. Who did this, um, controlling the phone of Sushant before he passed away, okay? So, with this one, this is Rose Quartz. So, I feel like this person is kind of, um, Narcissus, I feel. Um, because, you know, rose quartz means self-love, right? So, I feel like this person is really cold-hearted, okay? And I feel like, you know, the karma that he got is that he's being emotional for what he did. Like, his feelings will overwhelm him because I feel like he also told the police again about the love life of Sushant and so forth. That's all he can say, Okay? Because I feel like he's being intellectual, of course, and he's hiding the truth about this plan. Okay, that's um, what this girl gave, gave to him, and the plan took place, and then that's the downfall of Sushant. Okay, so I feel like the police is wise enough that this guy is lying, and right now he's crying because he's in jail. He thought that he gonna be lucky, he gonna get out with it, and he gonna hide the secrets, that's his plan. But then he's gonna be questioned and questioned. Because I feel like for the police, you know, whatever they say is just a joke, it's just a lie. And I feel like this funny because this comfort. So, oh, what I'm sensing here is that the police knows that Sushant was poisoned. They are aware. And I feel like this person plan is to be happy, okay, to be happy outside the jail. But sadly, you know, he got caught. He was kept in the bar. So I feel here with the Dixit cards, yes, he just followed the order of the sister of Sushant, okay. And I feel like he will spend his time in the jail. That's what's happening to him. And he's being controlled over by this person the sister of Sushant and she makes sure that the friend of Sushant will not speak the truth okay that she's the one who's you know did the nasty planning thing and controlling manipulating others so I feel like this person wants to break free but the universe is not on this person's side again it repeats in the cards so unfortunately for this guy I feel like he will ended up locked up in jail. That's what I'm sensing. And he's gonna be sad because he have dreams. He have, you know, aspirations. But then he will ended up in jail till he get old. And he's a he has anger within that, you know, he envy. I feel like he envies Sashant. I feel like he's not really a good friend. He's a deceitful friend, to be honest. He envies Sushant's life. And that's why, you know, he did this to Sushant. And I feel like the karma that he will get, Sushant will hunt him, to be honest with you. Because Sushant is upset that, you know, he followed the girl. Okay, this nasty sister of his that caused his life. And I feel like this person, on the other hand, will always remember what he did. And he will go crazy of that nasty thing that he did to Sushant. So, that's what's going on. So, anyway, let's see what else we got. So, these are the other cards. So, what we have here, obviously, is a change in the wind. So, what I can say here is that... Um, this person from being free, now he is in jail, okay? That's what happened here. So, I feel like this person much more connected with the sister than Sushant, to be honest with you. Because he got the money from this girl who commanded him to do this nasty thing to Sushant, okay? 
And now with the fork in the road, I have a feeling here that he got trapped because the police got him and he haven't recovered yet from whatever he did. And I feel like um, this person as well has sleepless nights because of the unjust that he did. And I feel like with the yin and come to the edge, I feel like, you know, the police is really aware that Sushant is poisoned. No matter how many times he tried to sway the, what they call this, he tries to tell a lie. The police knows the truth already and this just person just don't want to speak it out. But no matter how many times this person is repeating like a parrot, I feel like the police will never stop questioning him. Okay, so is there anything else? So he will spend the rest of this lifetime in jail. And I feel like he will learn the lessons the hard way that he shouldn't kill someone that he called friend. And also not to do something nasty just to get some money. And of course not to be deceitful. And the angels say that those people who are nasty, who are lying, who are trying to trick the police, they are the ones who's being questioned a lot by the police. So is there anything else? And they say that by the actions of others, um, they are being judged by, of course, those people who study psychology will know whom are the liars versus the not. So as I told you, if you want people to believe you, be authentic, be you, rather than be judged of something that you are not. So is there anything else? They said that's it, so let's proceed on with the next. So let's see now about the first person, which is the celebrity who casted nasty spells on Sushant. So anyway, let's see what are his actions that he did after um, the crime scene or after Sushant's death. So we'll see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what does the celebrity who casted negative spell on Sushant did after Sushant got killed. Please show to us the overall theme of this reading. Thank you. One more. They say so. We'll check. I feel like this person is happy now that he has the girlfriend of Sushant all by himself. I feel like he doesn't care at all. Like he's having a happy life with the girl of Sushant. So we'll check with these Dixit cards what it has to say. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what does the celebrity who cast nasty spell on Sushant do after Sushant got killed, got murdered. My head hurts a lot with him, really. He has been casting nasty spells. That's why I really don't want to sense this guy. I feel like this guy really knows that Sushant is in a good place. That's what this person thinks. Because, you know, he doesn't really commit suicide. I feel like this guy knows that Sushant didn't commit suicide. I feel like he has been through Tarus as well and he's aware that Sushant is, you know, um, not really the one who killed himself. And unfortunately, this guy can speak up the truth about, you know, who really killed Sushant. I feel like when 
after Sushant died, this person did tarot readings. That's what I'm sensing to discover if Sushant really commit suicide or not. And I feel like he's aware that really Sushant didn't commit suicide. It was a murder. And I feel like this guy is good at tarot. But unfortunately, he's not sharing what he knew. So we'll see with the tarot what it has to say. So angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what does this person do or actions after Sushant got killed. What are this person's motives and my head hurts a lot with this guy. He has been casting nasty spells. I feel like he's cast, okay, this is a bright they say. I feel like he cast nasty spells on Sushant's sisters, to be honest. Because he's mad that, you know, the girlfriend of Sushant was blamed. I don't, I think that he don't like it, okay, because he's being protective with the girl, okay, that's what's going on. And... I feel like it's the battle of spellcasters, to be honest. So, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So, what is the outcome? So, we will clarify the card. So, I sense that this card also wants to pop out. So, we'll take that. So, I'm gonna clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. One more shuffle, they say. So, we'll see. I feel like this person casts evil eyes on the one who's always blaming the girlfriend of Sushant. So be careful those who are haters of Sushant's girlfriend because this guy is casting nasty spells on you. So if I were you, I will stop doing that because to be honest, you know, the girlfriend of Sushant is really not guilty. It's only the mind games of those who really did it, okay? I feel like he's very upset of those who really blamed the girlfriend of Sushant. So anyway, this is, you know, the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So I feel like he don't care. Because he don't care about Sushant at all. He don't have feelings or any friendship vibe, okay? This guy just enjoy his life, okay? With his newfound girlfriend because, you know, Sushant is has died so he's celebrating his victory of having the girl so with Archangel Gabriel so I feel like the heaven wants this person to speak up okay because I feel like this person is doing tarot right and I feel like you know he knows the truth okay of the matter I feel like he's really good at it to the point that he knows who killed Sushant so after the death of Sushant I feel like this guy Tries to know the truth, okay? Because Archangel Gabriel is here. Tries to know the truth. What really happened? Did Sushant commit suicide? Or, you know, was he murdered? And with this judgment in reverse, I feel like nobody knows that this person, you know, was included in the killing. He did something nasty spell to get this um, person that Sushant has. Okay, so with the Knight of Pentacles reverse, so what I'm sensing here is that, yeah, he created something nasty, a spell, and I feel like he's being defensive over the girl. He's not really happy. Look at this, okay? He's not really happy of those who blame the girlfriend of Sushant. See how grumpy he looks. He took an action, so he cast the nasty spells and the pentacles is in reverse. So, it's really black magic that he casts on those who's, whom are against the girlfriend of Sushant. So, fated meeting and ace of swords. So, this guy really knows the truth of what happened. 
everything because he's a tarot user. So I feel like what he did after Sushant got killed, he tries to know the truth of the matter. Who killed Sushant? Did Sushant really commit suicide? He knows the truth. He knows everything. So with the on track being in reverse, I have a feeling here that this person will just... I feel like he will not... He will just do the same, <laughs> okay, whatever he's always doing. So, what action does this person take? So, he just maintain on his same place, doing the same job and doing nasty things. I feel like to those, I feel like to those star readers, that's also against his, you know, the girlfriend of Sushant, now his girlfriend, okay? And I feel like... I feel like he's smiling because nobody knows the truth. Or, um, to be honest, I feel like he's browsing tarot readers, to be honest with you. My gosh, I'm so afraid. So, with the wishes fulfilled in reverse, I'm sensing here that, you know, Sushant really lost everything. That's also what he got from his tarot reading. I don't know why we're browsing what he saw in the tarot reading. So what he saw in the tarot reading that he has, okay, he saw that Sushant's money was gone, of course. Somebody took it and it's a girl. That's what I'm sensing, whom got the money. But I feel like the father of Sushant didn't get the money. It's only the girl who got the money. That's what I'm sensing here. So I feel like with the Oracle of Delphi, I feel like this person is just protecting the girlfriend of Sushant. And of course, this person is, you know, um, what they call this, courting the girl of girlfriend of Sushant after Sushant's death. That's what happened. So with the Queen of Scrolls, so... I have a feeling here that he's very aware that really it's suicide, not, um, I'm sorry, really it's murder, not suicide, <laughs> okay? Because I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles, this person knows the truth, but didn't want to say a word about this girl, okay? The girl who is manipulating every single thing, so it's the one in America manipulating everything, so anyway, this is, you know, the outcome. So you got commitment. So what this person is doing is that he's just busy with his love life, to be honest with you. And with the Queen of Wands, I feel like he have this girl on fire or um, the girl is submissive towards this guy. I feel like he put some nasty spells on her, like love spells even. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like with the spring and the nine of cups, I feel like he wants to earn more money. That's what he's thinking of doing because he's not that satisfied and happy of what he currently has. So we'll see about the outcome. Oh, I'm sorry, not the outcome. I can hardly speak with this, you know, this reading. Probably he's blocking people from knowing what he's up to. And so first, but sadly, you know, Sushant asked this reading, so I have to do this. So anyway, let's see. So I really sense that he cast nasty spells on people that are against, you know, the girlfriend of Sushant. And he's very annoyed with it. So he watch YouTube channels, make sure that the girlfriend is not there, and so forth. So whatever it is. So I feel like this person, <laughs> okay, I get it, oh dear, nasty vibes, so I feel like he continue on casting nasty spells on everyone that's against the girl that he loves, okay, he's very defensive, look at that, this is connected together, okay, the ring, the love, and the question mark. So I feel like he casted a love spell on the girlfriend of Sushant, okay, and he's just happy with his sex life, it's what I'm sensing, and then I feel like with the owl here, I feel like he has this wisdom or he has this knowing that Sushant got poisoned, 
Okay, and he's aware that there is a nasty girl that's behind all this. I feel like someone from the abroad is what he knows. So, I feel like with this one, so I feel like this person knows behind everything that this girl is hiding, that these nasty girls are just hiding that he, I'm sorry, I feel like this this person knows that people are, what do you call this, after the girlfriend that he currently has right now, which is the former girlfriend of Sushant. So I feel like this person is aware that whomever the sister of Sushant was is just playing, pretend that they're not happy, that they're crying. But then this person knows a lot, okay? Can contribute to be honest if ever he would have a YouTube tarot channel, okay? He knows a lot and then you know what he knows with the tarot readings. He used to write it down. I feel so. I feel like he knows every secret. It's kind of secretive too, to be honest. So it's just busy with love life, obviously. You know, um, giving flowers or giving gifts to the girl is so happy with love life see and he's upset he's take cautious of those people that's a that's against a girlfriend of sushan so obviously he's doing nasty craft spells over those people so i feel like with the justice this person knows that sushant will one day have this justice and that is what he see in the cards so i feel like he's just happy right now with the girl that he currently has so that's what this person is up to so anyway here is the Dixit card so you got this one so what I feel here is that after the killing of Sushan this person tries to unlock the mystery behind it he usually do that whenever a celebrity died and suffered he wants to discover okay the truth behind the killing so he discovered that Sushant really didn't commit suicide he was you know controlled over by somebody because you see this is a puppet okay and he knows the truth of the matter so i feel like also this guy knows about palmistry i feel so i feel like this person was surrounded okay by this is sushan this is what he discovered okay in the tarot like he was surrounded by you know really nasty people that's what i'm sensing here and he just watch over it by tarot readings or even i feel like he watch people in social media after the killing okay and i also feel here that he feel very sad and lonely that people didn't get it i feel like he knows the whole truth about you know who kills Sushant and suffers, what we know, okay, is what he knows too because he's a tarot reader. So I feel like he write down whatever he discovers, okay. So I have a feeling here that he's thinking of working. That's also what I'm getting. That's his plan. And of course, you know, he's greedy. He wants the girlfriend of Sushant, so he has it, okay, because he manifested it. And I feel like with this one, I have a sense of feeling that this person's action was, you know, to hide from the world. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like with this one, this person is aware of what's gonna happen to those who really murder Sushant, okay? So what I'm sensing here is that this person knows, I feel like he has, um, senses okay he knows if you're wearing a mask or not that's what i'm sensing and he's aware that it was a sister of sushant who's playing pretend that this person is a good person but this person is somebody that's dominant he knows everything so if only he will be a tarot reader he will be a great tarot reader but sadly he's hiding you know every secret that's what I'm sensing and I feel like he's really aware about this girl, you know, playing pretend to the world that, you know, he, she's very innocent, okay, and 
she's so happy this is the reality she's so happy because she has all the money okay and then you know she can step on anyone she can threat people that will be against her so i feel like this guy is aware how nasty you know the girl was the sister of sushant was so that's what he discovered in his star reading so anyway this is the theme so you got by the book and not for you so i feel like this guy is very happy right now because he got somebody that's not really for him and with the tiktok and treasure island i feel like you know this person knows what he's up to that's what i'm saying he's just enjoying his precious time with the one that he really loves and then i feel like he's um I feel like he is after the killing. Of course, he discovered the unknown with the moon. He discovered the truth of the matter. And then he knows that someday justice will be served. So I really feel here that there's a face. Look at that. And I have a feeling here that he's really casting nasty spells over the sister of Sushant. That's what I'm sensing because I feel like, you know, this person wanna cast spells on actually everyone against the girlfriend of Sushant. So if ever this nasty girl is um always pointing finger on the girlfriend of Sushant for sure, she will get it. She will get casted on because he's very defensive. Okay, he's very defensive of her, you know, his partner. So is there anything else? Now, of course, the tar reader that say nasty things about the girlfriend of Sushant, those people that he finds doing that, he will cast nasty spells on them. So make sure that you're saying the right thing and you are, you're gonna point a finger, do it the right thing, okay? Know that you really point to the, to the one who's really you know did sushant wrong so is there anything else they said that's it so let's proceed on with the last all right last but not the least okay the family of sushant so basically um they don't want me to do it individually per person i just don't know why but we'll see what are their actions or what they did after the crime scene or after killing their brother or family member angels and guides please provide guidance for the card so we may know what does the family of sushant did after sushant was killed please show to us the overall theme of this reading thank you and my head suddenly hurt I feel like whomever the family member who really plotted the murder case really wants to speak speak to me I feel that their brother committed suicide I feel like she wants to speak to the world that it's not murder it's suicide I feel like this person has been distorting the story a lot to the point that, you know, people are starting to realize how fake they are or they're blaming and blaming. I feel like the people are tired of them, tired of their drama, like it's not even true, it's not being authentic. So let's check with the Dixit cards. So let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what actions does the family of Sushant did after Sushant got killed. So the angels say to me that, you know, this family knows that they are the one who caused the trouble and they have all the money that Sushant has. And I feel like they are trying their best to hide the truth to others. I feel like they have been manipulating people from speaking up. They have been nasty. Okay. And I feel like, you know, they need to be put behind bars. 
because they are doing something nasty they are distorting you know the crime scene they are manipulating every evidences and even they are touching Sushant's accounts which is not really good they are very nasty like even if they created a foundation it's not because they love their brother it's because they want to show to the world that they didn't kill Sushant but we'll check with your cards what it has to say angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what are the actions that the family of Sushant take after Sushant was killed? So one more, they say... I sense the song true colors so i feel like people knows their true colors that they are very you know unpredictable like one day they will you know do this one day they will say something else one day very different statements so that's why the world is tired with the drama of this family of sushant to the point that um they don't really want to tap into the news i feel like they're tired they're tired of their mind games. They're tired of their foolishness. I feel like if ever they can manipulate those whom can't even speak, people knows their true colors. Because I'm really sensing the song true colors. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. I feel like people start to notice how fake they are with their actions. It's not even authentic. It's not normal. Because if a family died, supposedly they have really sympathy. Angels and guides. I feel like a lot of people are angry at them. I'm really sensing the anger of people towards them. What's behind the cards presented here? I feel like even though some... I feel like they hired tarot readers to hide the truth. And even some people that that tries to influence the world that you know they are not really the evil one here they didn't kill their brother etc but I feel like whatever they do I feel like they're just playing mind games I feel like they're just hiring people because they have a lot of money now, they can bribe, they can do whatever they want. And they thought that they will not end up in jail just because they are family members of Sushant. And just because their family members has a connection with the police. And I feel like soon we will know what will happen next. Because to be honest, I already know what will happen next. Because we did readings before, but they never allowed me to put it in public, so I deleted the whole video. So anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So you got the Four of Roses. So what I'm sensing here is that nobody really believes in them. Okay, so I feel like this family of Sushant wants to start a new beginning somewhere. They want to really leave, okay, so that they will avoid the spotlight, so that the police will not question them and so forth. So I feel like with the loving elementals, they play pretend to be someone who's loving, someone who's caring for others. But sadly, you know, somebody is spying on them, knowing that this people are not authentic they're liars i feel like people start to realize that and slowly they are losing you know if you call it fans i don't call it fans at all followers can be so we're describing in reverse so i feel like nobody believes in these two sisters that are nasty they are aware that these sisters are party goers are not are not really 
having those money. I feel like they are aware that these people are not like Sushant, who is wealthy. And I feel like with the Eight of Swords, so the action that this person takes, the one who doesn't have the money, okay, this person tries to pretend that, you know, she didn't kill Sushant, that's what I'm sensing here. And suddenly, I heard a bell from the angels. Hi, angels. So anyway, with the king of roses being here, what I'm sensing here, guys, is that um, this, I feel like the father of Sushant really loves the whole family. But then I feel like this, sad for this father of them, what I'm sensing here is that he is somebody who don't know really the truth of what happened here okay i feel like he's being brainwashed to be honest with you all so the next is the karmic trench in reverse so what i'm sensing here is that yeah they play pretend i feel like they are losing a lot of money due to bribing that's what i'm sensing so that's what's going on with them they love to bribe people and I feel like they play pretend that, you know, they are something that's a happy family. Like, it all is planned, all is well. I feel like they're just acting like actors and actresses. Even the, the brother-in-law, my gosh. They are just acting. Whatever they do, they're just acting. And I feel like the police don't even believe in them, to be honest with you. The police see them as nasty. They're not standing really in power and the police I feel here are being guided by the divine so that they may know the answers. There's divine intervention that has been happening here. So I feel like this family is blaming the girlfriend of Sushant to hide away whatever they did. That's what they're doing after, you know, Sushant got killed. So with the summer, I feel here that, yeah, they're happy with the money that they got, okay? And I feel like what happened here is that there's imbalance, like they're aware that what they did is something nasty, okay? Not really being authentic. And I feel like this family is also thinking what to do with the money. I feel like all they think about this money. After killing Sushant, that's what they think. So I feel like with the War of the Roses, I have a feeling here that they are lying to the social media. So I feel like they play pretend that they are um, righteous people, etc. But, you know, behind the scenes, they're not really righteous people. They're always fighting others that's against them and so forth, doing something nasty behind closed doors. So really not peaceful family at all to be honest very argumentative kind of vibe thing with this one with the war of the roses so let's see with the outcome so with the sense of time being here so what they have been doing after sushant was killed is that you know um i feel like the one who really plotted this okay is the one who's taking in charge or control because this individual why he killed Sush not he she killed sushant is because this person is really against the marriage of sushant and i feel like this person is figuring out how to you know earn more money or where to invest the money of sushant all the plans of sushant are gone so the next one is setting your course so this is the next outcome so what i'm feeling here is that everything that this person planned of is not working out because they love they need to play pretend that they're crying they need to you know not make people see that they are enjoying the money of sushant and i feel like with the high priestess that is not really their true colors that's what i'm sensing here so with this card um with the lookout being in reverse, so what I'm sensing here is that these people really want to take that leap of faith to leave this, you know, I feel like crime scene or um, as a place where they at because they always remember that they killed their own family member just because of money, just because they don't have the money 
okay just because sushant really don't want to provide for them since you know he's busy with love life that's what i'm sensing so the next one is what actions should they take so i feel like with the queen of scrolls here so i feel like they are being judged by others like everything that they planned is not working out that's what i'm sensing because the whole world are seeing their two colors whatever they do because they know that these girls are very nasty they're not being authentic they're not really a loving person they just want sushan's money they just want sushan's success okay that's what this person or these people think about the family so no matter how many times they try to hide it in social media their true colors it will show okay um nobody can't really um hide that true especially if something is trusty okay so the truth will come out one day and they need to be prepared for that that's why i feel like they're really planning to go out so that they won't get included so really sensing the song true colors because the true colors of them is showing up by their actions so anyway um, the action that they took is that they play pretend to be kind, loving person to Sushant. And they play the blame game towards Sushant's girlfriend. That's what happened here. Because they are aware that, you know, the girlfriend of Sushant is, you know, um, kind of toxic vibe to be honest. Even these people could be known or people could know it by showbiz is what i'm sensing so they pretend um that it was the girlfriend of sushant who did this whole thing okay because he will almost got married so i feel like they are really against the marriage of sushant because of course if sushant got married you know they will not have all the money of sushant so that's why you know they created this plan to do um the murder case okay to kill sushant and blame the lover of Sushant, okay? That's what I'm sensing here. So I feel like they're playing games with people, trying to persuade them to believe them, okay? But I feel like those people that are really wise, those people whom really is intellectual knows that these people are just playing nasty games and they're playing pretend to be crying when all honesty is that you know they're not really sad they're really happy that they have the money of sushant so always phone phone call is always here and then i feel this question mark so i feel like people question about the phone of sushant about you know who's controlling the instagram of sushant i feel like it's the family members who has been doing that nasty things because they're trying to distort they're trying to make you know the what they call this distort the truth they're trying to make you know the investigation worst or i feel here that they're playing mind games over people joking okay and i feel like with this one i feel like they're very sad that whatever their plan is is not working though so i feel like they can't really mess up with people that are you know really um knows how to judge people they can manipulate people to love them because i feel here that they're trying their best to manipulate the situation by focusing on the girlfriend of sushant i feel like they try to make you know the story like a joke but i feel like since they are putting or what they call this since they are pointing fingers to anybody the angels say they're the one who's creating their own you know bunny hole their own trap so anyway here is it so what's their action so i feel here that they will always remember what they did to their brother okay 
and I feel like the universe doesn't have their back and I feel like they try to escape that's what their actions supposedly is. They want to go somewhere where it's much more peaceful, that nobody is watching over them. And I feel like, you know, the sister is trying to manipulate everyone, okay, that's included in in this case. I feel like they're trying to hide the truth because the police is investigating and they're trying to really doesn't show, they're trying to hide the truth. Okay, I feel like they know the whole truth of the situation that since the childhood of Sushant, he is being manipulated by others. And I feel like this, you know, this girl really tries her best so that they will run away from whatever they did. But the police, I feel, is, you know, observing their every action this is what i'm sensing here so i feel like whatever action that they will take it will not really you know it will not really work they just created um this generational curse to, for themselves because they took someone's you know someone's gift someone's abundance and abandoned this person to death see i feel like the heaven is angry at them Okay, because they destroyed somebody's life. That's what I'm sensing since he was little, the angels say. And I feel like, you know, whatever they do, the police will continue on hunting them. That's what I'm sensing. Wherever they do, it will not work out. And I feel like people will know that, you know, these sisters are very nasty to Sushant since he was little and till the day that he died still the sisters will be the one who is the one who killed him i feel like they're hiding the truth that's what they have been doing they're trying their best to hide the truth from the world but you know with their actions people are getting tired by they always change statements i'm so tired of this you know family putting you know i feel like they're controlling their father to create drama even that's what I'm sensing here. Because I feel like the father is confused what's going on. And I have a feeling here that whatever they're doing to their father is not really just. I feel like they're just putting their father to the spotlight so that, you know, they may have, um, what they call this, the pity that they will have for others. But sadly, no one is fighting it anymore, especially those whom are really wise especially those whom are logical and i feel like the police know the truth already of the matter here who really killed sushant and they literally know that it's not suicide and i feel like the sisters nasty sisters are just you know trying to threaten others but i feel like they will get threatened themselves because the police are always after them see so anyway, by the book, so what they're doing right now, so what actions did they take after killing Sushant? So of course, there will be a new life because, you know, um, they become rich. They got the inheritance that they have from Sushant. So they're very happy, obviously. So they're not telling the truth to anyone at all. They're trying to mess up, you know, the, the truth, mess up the evidences. And hiding their tracks as what they're doing after they killed Sushant. And to the sea, I feel like they're being watched over by a lot of people. Oh dear, it really creeps me out. I feel like the mother of Sushant is, you know, oh dear, it really creeps me out. Is watching over the family and knows that this nasty girl did something. So I feel like she went to this girl from one of the murderers the angels say and I feel like this girl can't run away from whatever she did I feel like she always remember it and of course the mother came to the dream I feel and unfortunately I feel like they will create a lot of disruptions so what action did they take I feel like they're trying their best to hide their tracks to be honest and I feel like they feel trapped at home. 
I like up in river. So what I'm sensing here is that, you know, they really killed Sushan. They remember that and even the mother made them see what they did is wrong. So with the boys being here, I feel like they thought that they will be lucky they will be a star they will be happy with the money of sushant but you know everything is not going as planned like everyone is watching over them everyone thought that they are greedy and with the exchanging gifts in reverse i feel like no one really see them as someone who's authentic everyone see them as a liar everyone see them as someone who's just playing mind games or trying to disrupt the uh, Instagram of their own brother or someone who is, you know, enjoying what they got. So basically, what actions did they take? They tried to hide the truth from people. They tried to distort the truth. They tried to make, make people, you know, make fake news sense so forth. They use Sushant's money so that they can distort the truth. That's what I see. And they play blame games over the girlfriend of Sushant, which is really unnecessary. And the truth will come out. They will never run away from what they did. The angels say, because they are the one who put themselves to that. Whatever actions they are doing that are nasty, the nose the police knows they study psychology okay you cannot manipulate the police police are intelligent okay so is there anything else so the family will get it they will go to jail they will be questioned they will even experience to be you know, humiliated for what they did. And the fans of Sushant will be angry at them. Will even destroy them. Okay? And destroy the foundation that they created. And they will put to another museum or another place rather than on something that the family has created for Sushant. So, is there anything else? They will experience a horrible mistake that they created for the rest of their life because they just distorted the universe just for killing Sushant and what else is that you know um they really did something that is really nasty because Sushant is looking for true love and he wasn't able to have it and as well as um, he wasn't able to fulfill further what he needs to do for this world. He's a light worker like me. And that's why he's kind of closer to me as well. Even though I don't know the man that much, I just knew him since he visited me since day one. So anyway, is there anything else? So that's it, the angel says. So anyway, thank you for watching. Let's just hope that justice may prevail, but I hope. I think it will, okay? So, congratulations. You're gonna have our justice. And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.